Good evening. As you know, my name is Yen. I am Lindsay's cousin. Um, Lindsay and I grew up together about a couple years in Southern California before moving to Quincy, Illinois uh, with our parents. We also shared an apartment uh, during college at Truman State University for about a year where I learned to be a cat mother <laughs> from her. Um, through all this time, Lindsay has been the closest I ever had to a sister. Um, she's always been there for me and I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to be here for her on this special day. Hi everyone, my name is Luan Ngo. I am also Lindsay's cousin. She has many of, a, of us. And um, growing up, I was, or I am still, the only child, as is Lindsay. And we did grow up together for a period of time. Um, we were very close, we are still are. Uh, she felt like the sister I never had. And I'm uh, very honored to be here today and to offer her and Grant a toast. So I'm gonna start out with a toast with a very, interesting story that we shared together and we still talk about it till this day and I want to share it with all of you so I'm Riley I'm Gavin or I'm Grant's only niece so it should come as no surprise the Grant is obviously my favorite uncle on this side of the family he is my definition of a funkel. He's always willing to do whatever anybody needs to make sure that me and Trent have always had a good time when we spend time with him. Spending time with our Uncle Grant has always been some of my best memories. He would swim in the pool with us, play baseball in the front yard, but my personal favorite was always going on walks in the woods, and he would always find a, clean, a tree for us to climb on. He would let me ride on his shoulders anytime I wanted. Grant has always been such a fun and caring uncle, and I think that anybody who knows him like I do can agree with me on that. Lindsay. I can't begin to put into words how incredibly lucky I am to have you as a spouse. You are the most beautiful, intelligent, funny, and thoughtful person I could ever ask for in a partner. You have a laugh that lights up a room and a heart that is so big, I don't know how it fits into such a small package. Through your life, you've seen some of the worst of what the world has to offer, and yet your actions are guided by kindness, compassion, and empathy. I cannot think of a higher standard or character than that. My vow to you is simple. I vow to strive to be the kind of partner who is worthy of you. I vow to work every day at loving, serving, and caring you to the fullest of my abilities. You deserve the best spouse the world has to offer, and I vow to aspire to that standard. I cannot promise you perfection, only hard work and unbounded love. But remember this, from this day on, through the rest of our lives together, you will always have someone to kill your spiders and pick your ticks. <laughs> Grant, my CM. All my life, I've never felt like I truly belong somewhere. I learned to put on masks, be a chameleon and blend into my surroundings to try and not be different, weird or awkward. Soon I became a kite with no string, blowing along the wind wherever it takes me in every which direction. And I took pride in that, that I was on my own and doing my own thing, adapting, 
Well, the truth is, I wanted badly to belong, and I finally gave up trying to find that. And then I met you. You understood my sense of humor, my need for space and freedom, and my need for belonging. You saw me, and saw things that I didn't see in myself. You saw me at my best, at my worst, and yet you supported me through it all, and I didn't even need to put a mask on. I didn't have to be someone else to be loved. So here I stand today, doing the thing I never thought I'd want to do. <laughs> it takes a really special person to have helped me get here. You're so kind, intuitive, intelligent, flexible, resilient, and thoughtful, and hilarious. <laughs> All traits that I value in a partner and traits that I strive to cultivate and build myself. Because of the special person that you are, I want to make sure you know that I am committed to you by making the following vows. And you know that I don't make promises I cannot keep. So I promise not to promise forever for the sake of rules and tradition, but to choose every day to be with you to support you, to love you the way that you want to be loved, to care for you, and, and that you feel assured knowing that I am here because I want to, not because I have to. I promise to care for your family as I do my own, because after today, there will be no difference. I promise to spend our time together making you feel seen, appreciated, loved, to support and accept you as you did me, to push you when you need nudging, I promise to take better care of the environment because you show me how important it is to take care of nature, to help this planet live as long as it can, so that generations after us can not only survive, but thrive. And finally, I promise to close more cabinet doors, <laughs> shut more lights off when I leave the room, and turn off the faucet when I brush my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> All in the name of sustainability and, I guess, safety. <laughs> yeah. I am not certain about a lot of things, but I am certain that I love you and that you are my rock to my kite and that we belong together. So I think Lindsay at the time was around three years old. I, okay, let's not worry how old I am. So needless to say, we were at the zoo and <laughs> I wanted to show Lindsay, hey, look over there, there's a duck. She's like, no, it's not, it's a bird. I'm like, no, no, it's a duck. She's like, no, it's a bird. And after I corrected her for the third time, she reached out and wanted to give me five across the eyes. And I was like, wow, okay. It's also a bird. <laughs> Technically, she's not wrong. So Grant, if you treat her well, she will serenade you to sleep. But if you don't, don't be surprised if you wake up with a black eye. <laughs> with that, all kidding aside, um, be there for one another, support one another. Be each other's beacon of light in each other's darkness. I wish you a lifetime of happiness and congratulations. There's more here than what we'll see, a divine conspiracy. I honestly couldn't have picked a better girl for Grant. She completes Grant in so many different ways. All in all, my favorite uncle spot expanded. And even though it was really close, it's a tie, and you're both my favorite. So. Honestly, there was never a time that I didn't think of Lindsay as my aunt. She's always been, to me, she's always been a part of the family, and so is to your family. And welcome to our family, officially. And um, I can't wait to see what this next chapter has in store for the two of you. And congratulations.
tell